the anode in a dry cell consist of students please have some important points related with the electrochemistry portion regarding the cell and all okay so that's very important so the different types of cells and all please go through it so the answer is option b zinc zinc is a chemical element with the symbol zn atomic number 30 and atomic mass is 65.38 units so kindly go through some of the important topics related with cells okay coming to the second one the acid used in lead storage cells is students this is very important and have been repeatedly asked in so much of examination so what's the answer here it is sulfuric acid so the other important point you have to remember regarding the sulfuric acid is sulfuric acid is also known as oil of vitriol is a mineral acid composed of the elements sulfur hydrogen and oxygen with the molecular formula h2so4 so coming to the next question which among the following metals provide amphoteric oxide students these are the repeated questions in several competitive examination in the portion of static gk so kindly note down all the important points and also study these questions so the answer is option c aluminium so students it's always better to either to scribble it on a notebook or take the screenshot of this uh, uh, slide or anything like that that is very comfortable for you okay coming to the fourth one an artificial satellite revolves around the earth in circular orbit which quantity remains constant so students not only for the artificial satellite for any object that revolves in a circular orbit the quantity that remains constant is the angular momentum of the body angular momentum is the property of a rotating body given by the product of the moment of inertia and the angular velocity of the rotating object l is the angular momentum and this formula is l is equal to mvr where m is the mass v is the velocity and r is the radius okay so hope you are clear with this section so students please note these all are very important and repeated questions so this is some questions related with the physics portion if electrical con conductivity increases with the increase of temperature of a substance then it is a then which body it is if the if it is the electrical conductivity increases with the increase of temperature of a substance then students it is very clear that the material is a semiconductor semiconductors are materials which have a conductivity in between that of conductors and non conductors or the insulators so the examples are silicon germanium etc so please uh, note some important points regarding the led and also it's also important sixth one the richest source of fossils is so something related with the rock portion like uh, geography different types of rocks and all it's uh, very good if you study with the example here the answer is sedimentary rocks are the richest source of fossils different types of sedimentary rocks are clastic organic and chemical sedimentary rocks are used for building stone in the production of lime industrial carbon dioxide and cement so this production of lime this portion is very important regarding this sedimentary rocks portion okay students so please keep that in mind which blood vessel have the smallest diameter very important easy and the repeated question so what's the answer i will say directly it is option a capillaries capillaries are the smallest blood vessels in the human body okay so some of the important point regarding the capillaries are blood is carried through the body by blood vessels with the help of perfusion process capillary supplies blood to the tissues the diameter of capillary ranges from 5 to 10 micrometers that is very important students the diameter of arteriole is approximately 30 micrometers so please note this range so that's important coming to the next question which of the following is an airborne diseases airborne diseases waterborne diseases and uh, such like so this uh, type of examples are very important they may ask definitely measles and born diseases are the infectious spread by airborne transmissions including chickenpox anthrax influenza measles smallpox cryptococcus and tuberculosis so students please keep those points in mind which organ of the body produces the fluid known as bile it's very easy question from the biology portion hope you all know that so what's the answer bile is produced by the our liver okay students so please note the other uh, Uh, pancreas artery and kidney this uh, production and uh, anything like that if there is any fluid so that will be uh, that be an additional point for you liver produces bile liver releases bile into gallbladder a small pear shaped organ located just below your liver in the upper right side 
of your abdomen so please note the students okay study like that add some more additional points regarding the options and also regarding the question that's the, the best source of studying the strategic portion which one of the following is not a function of the liver which one of the note is not a function of the liver which you have to select like that regulation of blood sugar and same activation detoxification reproduction liver is the body's largest internal organ it has many functions in the body like it helps in protein synthesis and blood clotting manufacturing triglycerides and cholesterol glycogen synthesis and bile production it also detoxifies chemicals and metabolizes drugs so that's a very important point regarding the liver the function of liver and all which of the following is not a member of the vitamin b complex students please study all these important subtopics related with the vitamin b vitamin b complex answer is here the answer is option d ascorbic acid okay vitamin b complex consists of eight vitamins these all are very very important please note this on your test book b1 b2 b3 b5 b6 b7 b9 and b12 where vitamin b1 is thiamine b2 is riboflavin b3 is niacin b5 is parathymic acid b6 is pyridoxine biotin folic acid and b12 is cyanosublamin okay the students please uh, very important please keep that in mind what makes a reptile a, a reptile so what is that basic feature that uh, is uh, considered for a, an animal to be a reptile it must be egg laying reptile skin is covered with hard dry scales and most reptiles lay eggs those animals which are clawed blooded don't automatically maintain a constant body temperature they have to lay out their eggs in the sun to keep their body warm that's an interesting portion regarding the biology section hope you all have noted down so coming to the next question hematite and magnetite are iron ores copper ores magnesium ores zinc ores so what's the answer here students Let's just uh, try it it's the answer is iron ores so this important points are the additional points that is shown here Magnetite is the finest iron ore with a very high content of iron up to 70%. It has excellent magnetic qualities especially valuable in the electrical industry. Hematite ore is the most important industrial ore in terms of the quantity used but has a slightly lower iron content than magnetite. So even the percentage was also given there so hope you will note it down that Charles Goodyear is known for which of the following? It's very easy question, right? Charles Goodyear regarding the polymer chemistry portion you studied in your 12th standard in the NCERT textbook. Option A: experiments on rubber plants. B: vulcanization of rubber. Invention of radial tires. Invention of artificial rubber. So, so this option B: vulcanization of rubber. He made it possible that the commercial use of rubber, the Goodyear tire and rubber company, was posthumously named after him. So. that is regarding it which among the following is false gold students uh, please note that kindly there is some error in this uh, option given here copper sulfate is it uh, given as right it's actually not iron sulfate it is iron pyrites option b okay students so that was an editing error please note it down so the explanation is the mineral pyrite or iron pyrite is known as false gold is an iron sulfate with the chemical formula fes2 iron disulfide false gold is technically known as pyrite or iron sulfate and it's one of the most common sulfate minerals its nickname is false gold but it often contains a surprising amount of gold so hope you are noting it down come to the next one which among the following happens in an oxidation reaction electrons are gained electrons are lost protons are gained protons are lost one of the most important sections in the coordination chemistry that you are studying in your 12th chapter so what is it when electrons are lost we say that the it's a oxidation reaction oxidation is the loss of electrons during a reaction by a molecule atom or ion when oxidation occurs an element loses electrons and its oxidation number increases that is it becomes more positive that is a pure logic when it uh, loses electron means the oxidation number increases and it becomes more positive atoms can either be created nor be destroyed this principle was given by from your chapter 2 of the atomic structure you study in your 11th standard in crt you even study it on your 9th standard so whatever it be anyway we need the answer answer is option b dalton 
the given principle is one of the postulates of dalton's atomic theory given in the year 1803 by john dalton so please note this year and all if they want to make the examination more tight they will add these dates and all year and all okay so the postulates of uh, dalton theory is also given you can note it down and read it so coming to the next one potassium permanganate is used to purify water which among the following properties of potassium permanganate helps in this work the options are sterilizing option b oxidizing option c reducing option d leaching so which is the property of potassium permanganate so it is actually the oxidizing property potassium permanganate is a point of entry treatment method that oxidizes dissolved iron manganese and hydrogen sulfide into solid particles that are filtered out of the water it can also be used to control iron bacteria growth in metals okay so coming to the next one pvc is a polymer of it is clearly known from the explanation itself pvc is a polymer of what is the expansion of pvc it's polyvinyl chloride you study in your polymer chemistry in your 12th standard textbook ncrt so polyvinyl chloride is made from the monomer vinyl chloride ch2 double bond chcl it is used for making rain coats handbags toys including dolls electric goods and as a covering of electric wires so hope that's clear for you double sulfitation is the most commonly used method in india for refining of double sulfitation answer is option c sugar in india the double sulfitation is the most commonly used method for refining of sugar also it is the cheapest process of refining sugar as compared to other available processes so which is the cheapest process of refining sugar yes you got the answer what is the body called which does not have any tendency to recover to its original configuration on the removal of deforming force so you are studying this on your 11th standard ncrt physics textbook right in the portions of elaborate properties of solids so what do you call that if you don't not at all gain to its original place it is perfective plastic so perfective plastic means the body does not have any tendency to recover to its original configuration so some of the important examples are also given so perfectly elastic means it will be deformed and uh, perfectly uh, ductile which means that it can be drawn into thin wire so hope you all know this important things regarding this topic so which of the following statement is incorrect about stainless steel it is known as inox steel it is an alloy of iron cobalt and nickel option c it is corrosion resistance option d molybdenum is added to increase corrosion resistance in reducing acid so which is the option for this which is not the which, which is incorrect about stainless steel so students it is actually option b stainless steel is also known as inox steel it is an alloy of iron chromium and nickel not cobalt okay so that is the mistake in the second second sentence so kindly note it which of the following is a naturally occurring alloy of gold and silver which of the following is a naturally occurring alloy of gold and silver bronze electrum duralumin nor gold answer is option b electrum so electrum is a naturally occurring alloy of gold and silver the first metal coins ever made were of electrum and date back to the end of the 7th century so you are getting an additional point even from your history portion so electrum is the answer coming to the last question of the session which of the following refining methods works on the principle of adsorption so it's the option is salt refining vapor phase refining chromatographic methods liquidation so it is chromatographic method you are studying this on your chemistry on your 12th level ncrt okay chromatographic methods you have to uh, know that the different types of chromatography are paper chromatography coulomb chromatography grass chromatography and the technique used so this is the end of the session we will continue on the next video part 2 please watch that video thank you